Okay guys, we are at uh, CES 2018 um, at the Mercedes booth. Um, what we're looking at now is um, the new MBUX, Mercedes-Benz User Experience, which is our new infotainment generation that will be part in our new cars. Uh, so this uh, system will premiere in the new A-Class coming to Europe in spring, and we can demonstrate what the new system does for the driver, uh, the passenger and everyone. So what you have to understand, this is not a simulation, it's the real system so we have everything that will be in the part in the car in the end okay so I'd like to start uh, with some things that's very generic um, for the whole system um, we say that the whole system um, adapts to the driver's needs and by that I mean that the instrument cluster can change different things in the instrument cluster so for instance current consumption stuff like that but we said why don't we use the whole real estate here that we have available and use also that left side by swiping down so that you can different uh, get get different uh, informations here and also once you know that this is working you can also change it here okay so you can have a, a complete new set of combinations and so that really um, fits to the driver's needs in a specific situation so but that's not all we also have of course our navigation information for instance uh, a small map I took this picture but that's also not enough for us. We also want to show uh, a full screen map here. So you get the navigation information also in the instrument cluster and you can even zoom in and out. And this full screen we also have for our assistance systems. Um, in here, so we have it in small, but we also have it in a full screen mode. Okay, and this is something so you see it's highly configurable. And if you feel that you want to go back to what you use, perhaps on older cars, you just press long press back and then you go back. So this is the instrument cluster um, and now let's change to the central display where we have our infotainment. So phone, you can call, you have your navigation, radio, media, vehicle information, your car settings and everything. Mercedes B and apps. So this is what we call our home screen with all our, our application tiles. And the good thing is that you can have with short interactions just without entering the application you can change your radio station or you can cancel your current navigation or you can just change to your USB you know to your media and then you have your short interactions here as well um, so this is a way that we don't have to access those applications and just interact while being on the home screen okay so of course you can go inside the application and get much more information and while doing that you see one of the most important things about the system as well is that it's a touch screen so I'm not operating it um, with the touchpad down here I could of course you know I can just swipe here and, and there I could also use that one on the steering wheel as you can see here I can go back to the so everything is redundant you know I can do um, the interaction with the system in many different ways you know, something might be slightly off. Okay, and I so looking at, I was we already uh, talked about navigation. I want to show you something in here. So this is our navigation on the central display, and it's also very snappy. So it sticks to the finger, you know. You can turn it, twist it, and do it like that. So the system is really fast. And something what we also have implemented is real-time 3D end, uh, rendering. So you can go in here and just play around with the car. So it's like being on your game machine, game console, you know. And then you have a quick access, for instance, you want to see some settings for your lights, you just enter it. Okay, it's a shortcut. So this is also um, a very interesting and good way to interact with the system. Moreover, when while being on that level, on our home screen, you can go further down and then you can get suggestions. So our system has an artificial intelligence it has suggestions so based on what you, on your habits on your behavior it starts to analyze it and make suggestions so for instance um, if you call your wife uh, or a family member every time you drive home it pops up here or if you uh, listen to a specific radio station it shows up here, you know so it analyzes your behavior and also 
Now that you saw that we have so many different things we can configure, we have what we call themes, you know. And with those themes, we can just access one, and the whole system goes back to a set to a setting that you made. So we have a navigation here, our map, and we have what we call the full screen trip here in the instrument cluster. Um, still, I just want to present someone else, something else, and this is efficiency. When I press here. It changes again, you know, so with one click, you go back to a setting you did in the past. And this setting, this theme is inside your profile. And profile is also something very important to mention, because when you access a car, um, you identify that it's you, right? But you can still change it. You can go to a different profile. And then all your seat settings, all your settings you are just unique to your person, um, adapts to what you uh, saved you, okay? Again, very focused to the user's needs. So, something we cannot um, demonstrate here um, is our natural language um, understanding, our speech dialogue system. So, for instance, if you say to the system, hey Mercedes, which is our activation, um, we say, hey Mercedes, um, I'm cold. Then the system reacts, okay, I raise the temperature. Or if you say, hey Mercedes, call my mom, then it will call your mom, okay? So this is what we call natural language understanding. So it's really as you would speak to someone sitting in the car instead you're sitting and uh, speaking, interacting with the car itself. Um, also something I want to show in settings perhaps, uh, we have also different uh, designs that we have. So we have now look at the more bluish classic style, but we can also switch to sport. So the whole thing changes to sport. It does it here and it does it here. We can also change that. Um, we can also change the style in the instrument cluster. And here we have something very unique, which is called understated. So this mode is reduced to the max. So you be only show the most important information you need for driving and only that. So this is a mode that is really easy going. Of course, we also have our smartphone integration um, later on. And very important, when you buy a car, um, you will be able to update the system via updates over the air. You know? So you're not stuck with what you get when you buy it. So you will get product improvements, more services and so on why you own the vehicle. So this is something I wanted to uh, mention as well. So perhaps that was a very quick rundown of the new MBUX, which of course doesn't stop here. The MBUX is everything you interact with Mercedes. So we have a head-up display that is not demonstrated here, but it also goes beyond. So when you have use Mercedes Me on your smartphone, this is also part of MBUX, right? So we want that the customer um, has MBUX not only inside the vehicle, but also outside vehicle. So I guess thanks for your time. So now if you have questions, start now.